have some little ones of these. What is wrong with me? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bianca Scogan Beauty. Today, I have a Sol de Janeiro video, and I tried to match my shirt to the Sol de Janeiro, like, yellow color. This is the closest I could get. It does look more of that mustardy, like, orangey yellow color in real life than it does with the lights on, but I tried. This is the best I could do. I already have on my channel a Sol de Janeiro collection video. What is in my Sol de Janeiro collection? And it is the best video on my channel. If something does good, well, do it again, right? And my collection has grown, has changed, has increased. It's It's been like three years since that video, so I thought it was time for an update. Let's show you what I have now. As you saw from the thumbnail, there's a lot. There is a lot. When I got it all out from the nooks and crannies, because it's not all just in like one place <laughs> because I have lots of different things. I've got sunscreen, I've got chapstick, I have some shower stuff, I have some fragrance, I have some lotion. It's kind of, it, I had to go around my house a little bit to find all of this and potentially I still miss some of it. I have been getting Sol de Janeiro way before I started this channel, which was like three and a half years ago. I've been getting Sol de Janeiro since I found out about it on FabFitFun like maybe eight years ago. And they had, on FabFitFun, on one of the add-on sale, they had the Boom Boom Cream. And it was sold out. I put out my favorites, and the whole add-on sale, I was trying to get it. But nobody took it out of their cart for me to be able to get it. And so I, that was a sign. That was like, okay, this is some good stuff if, if I cannot even get it in this add-on sale. During Christmas time, they usually have like sets where they have like favorite sets, and they'll have a couple of things. And so that Christmas, I, I bought, but then I was like, here, husband, wrap this for me and <laughs> give this to me for Christmas. So I got a set of Sol de Janeiro stuff for Christmas, and my love of Sol de Janeiro has bloomed and developed and gotten even bigger since then, like, I don't know, eight, ten years ago. I don't even know. I don't know, but I have purchased from the Sol de Janeiro website. I've purchased from Sephora. Now it is sold at Ulta. I've gotten from a lot of places. I used to purchase solely from the Sol de Janeiro website because they had really good rewards. You kind of have to to only purchase from the Sol de Janeiro website so then you can get their rewards or or you'll purchase from like like Sephora and then you'll get Sephora rewards or Ulta and get Ulta rewards. But like if you split it up, you're gonna not be getting, you know what I mean? You're not gonna be getting quite the rewards. So um, I now kind of just get it from Sephora because I am a rouge at Sephora and so I'm able to get rewards from Sephora. Though I still think that Sol de Janeiro has the best rewards, I just, I don't know, I just get it from Sephora. Anyways, one thing I really like about Sol de Janeiro's body mist is because they really have, they've put body mist like on the, on the map. Victoria's Secret has been selling body mist forever. Like when I was in junior high, I wore Love Spell pretty much every day. So it's not like they're the only ones that sell body mist, but I heard that Sol de Janeiro is the number one brand sold at Sephora. It's probably a lot of them is, is the body mist. And one thing that I really like about the body mist is that they are a very good price. This size that is the 90 mil or 3.04 ounce size, this is like $24. So, and this lasts a really long time. You can get a bigger size for more money, obviously, but I don't even have any of the bigger sizes because I have so many of them that I just don't feel like for me, I would get the bigger size because I just, I would rather have a lot of little sizes than one really big size. But I like that you have that variation. You can get a big size, you can get small size. They even have even littler sizes that you can get. So there's just, there's variety and it's nice when the economy is so bad and you've got, you know, perfumes that are hundreds of dollars that we can have these body sprays that are $24 and smell delightful, smell absolutely amazing. So you can smell amazing and not break the bank. They have this 
Cherosa, like theme throughout their brand, which the the essence of that word means smelling delicious. And I that is what the brand is all about, smelling delicious. And I love that. I love that that you can smell delicious. So it's just really great. Let's talk about the one that I just showed you. This is the Brazilian Crush, and it's also um, known as like when it's in the the lotion, it's the Boom Boom Cream. It's also Charosa 62. This is, okay, I think this was their original scent. This was the, the scent that they originally came out with. It's hard to say because they also had this like teal one that was called Coco Cabana. And I did used to have that one, but I gave it away <laughs> because I didn't like it. To me, it smelled like popcorn. So we're just not going to talk about that one anymore because I don't have it anymore. But they have this one. This one was the original one that I purchased. I, oh my gosh, this one might even be the original one that I got in that kit from so many years ago. Hmm. Because it, <laughs> it really, it does have a little dent in it. You can tell, but it's not a huge dent. It's because I have so many of them. I don't have a dent in a lot of them because I, I use it. If you're looking at what I'm looking at right now, you'll see why I don't have dents in all of these because I have so many of them. Also, I have randomly three of these little ones of the 62. I think it's because uh, when you buy things from Sephora or even Sol de Janeiro, they'll give you like samples. And so I've gotten three of these sample sizes. So I have, little, I have a little tiny dent in some of these too. I just need to... <laughs> use them up and stop like using this one and then the next day I'll use this one and the next day I'll use this one just use I, I just need to use up use them up anyways okay so that's 62 and that one I'm this is not going to be a ranking video I I think I need to make sure and tell you that because I actually do have a ranking video I will link it in the cards here so if you want to see me rank my miss I have a ranking video and it's actually pretty recent 71 okay I did just tell you I'm not going to tell you the ones I love best, but this is the one that I love the best. Out of all of them, this is, this is his favorite. To me, though, this is a very fall scent. It has, it smells like caramel. It's very caramely. It's very warm. It does have a little bit of a popcorn smell to it, but it's a caramel popcorn, which to me, I know the Coco Cabana one had the popcorn, but that one was just a regular popcorn. And part of the reason that I think I didn't like it is because my very first job was working at an AMC theater and I was working in the concessions and popcorn, popcorn, I would smell like popcorn and it would get into my hair and it would get on my clothes and I smelled like popcorn. Yeah. So I think that I just have an aversion to smelling like, you know, movie theater popcorn. And so Caramel popcorn, though, is not, I don't have that aversion. I love caramel popcorn. So anyways, this one, I love this one. It is a very warm, a very beautiful caramel and macadamia nuts. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Whereas this one, I feel like this video will be 100 years if I tell you all the scent notes. So I, I, I'm not going to tell you every single scent note, but because they will be in my description box if you want to see the scent notes. This one is that pistachio. It's pistachio and caramel. And this one is also pretty gourmand. It's a pretty warm flavor. Um, but I feel like this one could be year, worn year round. This one kind of has more of a, a summery warmth to it as opposed to this one, which is to me very fall. Okay, more ones that are from like their permanent line. This one is number 68. And this one is very, uh, it's very soft. It is I think that people have talked about how it's a dupe to Ariana Grande's Cloud. To me, it's similar to Ariana Grande's Cloud, but it is not a, uh, a straight on dupe. It does say on here that it is Brazilian Jasmine Pink Dragon Fruit. It is a very fruity, very floral. It, it, it's a, a light florally smell. It's, it's pretty. I really like it. Then we have number 40. This one is I would wear in the fall as well. It's a little bit, uh, it's fruity as well. It has that plum, but it has, it's like a plum and vanilla and it is a little bit warmer. It's a little bit, it, it's not as like fruity and bright as this one. This one's more bright and it's more like a, a spring like fruity. Whereas this one is more of a fall fruity in my opinion. We have 59. This one came out just, I think this last winter time and it is really, really really a beautiful smell. It has like violets and vanilla and orchids, I think. And 
is just a really, really pretty smell to it. And it comes with the, the cream that is associated with this one is thick and luxurious. It's a really beautiful, I feel like a lot of people will wear this one like before they go to bed. And it's, I feel like it's a nice like date night and it's a nice like evening fragrance. It's, it's nice. Okay, so those are the ones that I have in like the permanent line. They have recently added some to the permanent line. So let's talk about those. So tan lines. This one has recently, kind of, I guess in the last year, been added to the permanent line. And I wrote it down. It's 87. I wrote it down on the bottom so I could remember. So it has been, and I actually got a little mini of it. And so you can see on this one, maybe, that it was Rio Radiance. So these are the same. And number 87 is the same. So this one came out during the summertime and it was the tan lines and, and there were two other ones that came with it. But I I think I got one of them that came with it and I, I returned it and I regret that decision, but I didn't get the other one. And I wish I would have because I think it was a vanilla one and it was purple and it was really, I just, I wasn't able to get it. Anyways, this tan line one smells like sunblock and coconut and I really love this one. This is like a top five favorite of mine. And so the fact that they've made it permanent is really good. I really like it. So it's 87 or Rio Radiance. And I really, really love this one. Another one that has recently been added to their permanent line, Bikini Season. Okay, so this came out with these three. Okay, so this came out during, not this summer, but last summer. And we had these three come out together. So we have Bikini Season, we have When in Rio, and we have Do Not Disturb. These all three came out. And this one now, just within the last month or two, this one came out and is now 48. <laughs> I had to turn it around because it looked like 84. 48. 48. This is now 48. And it's in this really pretty, actually, it looks like this. It's in a bottle that looks like the Tanlands one. It's in a bright pink, beautiful bottle. But originally it was bikini season in this like tangerine colored bottle. And this one is really pretty. It says sunlit orchid and guava nectar. It's a really bright, like fruity, floral, beautiful fragrance. And I wore this the other day and my husband was like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. I mean, I wear fragrances all the time, but he, he specifically mentioned how good I smelled with this one. So it is now permanent and it's a really good one. So then we have Do Not Disturb, which is not, I mean, I like it. I like all Sol de Janeiro fragrances, but it wouldn't be in my top 10 even. It is more clean. It doesn't have that Charosa like, oh my gosh, I talked about how I wasn't going to rank these, but anyways, it, it has more of a, like a laundry scent, a, a clean scent to it, which to me isn't that like Charosa, like delicious smell. So it's not my favorite, but it is still, it's still a nice fragrance. Like if you want to smell clean, it is nice. Then we have Rent When in Rio. This one's really nice too. It's Wild Bergamot and Vanilla Amber. So I think that this one is kind of, it's kind of in the middle. It's not my favorite. It's not my least favorite. Like I don't remember this one out of the other ones. There's other ones that stick in my head more. And this one, I'm like, what does this one smell like again? <laughs> because it's not my favorite, but I still like it. But I'm glad I have it. I just don't really 100% remember what that one is. Okay, so then we have some other really random ones, like this one, After Hours. This one came out. It wasn't a summer collection. It's not part of their permanent collection, although there are rumors that it might become part of their permanent collection by the time this video goes up. Who knows? Maybe it will be, but as of the time I'm filming this video, it is not, and it's After Hours. And to me, this one is a very nighttime date night, very luxurious nighttime smell. It isn't like fruity and, and bright. It is floral and rich and a little bit musky. And so it's a good smell. It, it's just, it's nice actually that Sol de Janeiro has such a range of scents. You are not just getting like caramel pistachio, which is, you know, the 62. It, you're getting fruity, floral, you're getting a little musky, you're getting some clean, you're getting some coconut, you're getting, uh, they just have a range, which is really nice because hopefully every single person will be able to find something that they like out of the entire range. Here's another one that is one of my favorites that randomly came out. It wasn't an, I think it did come out during the summertime, but there weren't three of them. This is the um, Sol de Janeiro and Anita. And I believe Anita is like a Brazilian celebrity. So this one, it says passion fruit nectar and pink patchouli, but to me, this one is pure pineapple and I love pineapple. 
So I love this one. Really good. I am so glad to have this one. It is not permanent. You can't get any more and it hopefully one day they will make it permanent. Okay. Then we have the three that came out just this summer. Okay. I made a video about these. I'll put it right up here. And my opinions have kind of changed. When I first heard about these scents, my thoughts were that I would love this one first. This is the Bejo Stissel. And I was like, okay, coconut. I'm going to love this one. This one's going to be my favorite. And I was like, yep, done. I'm going to, it's like, I think it's peach skins and coconut. And I was like, yep, that's it. It's going to smell like um, sunscreen and I'm going to love it. And I do, I do like it, but it's, it's a little bit more subtle. And so it's, it isn't my favorite because it's too subtle to be my favorite. I want more impact. And then I, I, I ended up actually in that video saying that this um, Summer Ian Moore was my favorite. And actually, after wearing these fragrances, you know, wearing it, going about my day, <laughs> I think that my one that I said was my least favorite is now my favorite. I know. Can you believe it? Anyways, the Karaoke Crush is now probably my favorite. So, although I like them all. So, it's hard to say a favorite because they're all so summery and all so delicious. And if you can still pick up any of, any of these up, I recommend all three. They're all really beautiful. From what I've heard, people don't like this one as much. They, it just, I think that people are like, it doesn't really smell like the Sol de Janeiro DNA. But I thought it smelled great. I thought it smelled like a summer market. So, which I, it, it just kind of had like an airiness to it. So it smelled like summer air, but also fruit. And I liked it. So they're all really good. I really like them. So if you can still get them, I suggest it. Okay, lastly, on my fragrance mist collection are these rare guys. Okay, this is from the Charosa collection that came out like 10 years ago. I don't even know, but there were five of them. I only have four. I should have kept that bottle of the fifth one, but when I got these in the mail, the fifth one had broken open and spilled all over the box and I talked to Zola de Janeiro about it and they were, they sent me like a partial refund and I was like, I actually just wanted that that blue bottle because <laughs> I wanted the set. Um, but they were out. They were completely out. This was such a hit. They should do this again. Like, it was such a hit. They had all of these. And so what happened with this, um, what I believe happened, is that they were kind of trying to, they sold these for $15, I think, for five. I could be wrong on that price. It was a long time ago. I think it was $15. And it was so that people could try out these flavors, fragrances, and then vote on them. And then they would be able to choose one from these fragrances that would be their next fragrance. And it was Sol de Janeiro. It was this Charosa number one. This is 71. This is that caramel popcorn one that I was talking about. It's caramel and macadamia nut. That's what this is. It's 71 right here. So they were able to do that. They did make this part of their collection. Whereas these three slash four, because I don't have the blue one, are not. They are, I've never seen them again. I, I don't believe any of these have become any of these new ones. Based on the scent notes of these, based on smelling them myself, like I, I actually just recently smelled this one compared, let me put some of these down. Um, I just compared these two together because uh, one of my commenters asked me to and I was like could these be you know dupes for each other they are not they're not because to me this one this is number three kind of has a coconut lime essence to it and this one is very coconut right now this one has more coconut to it this one um, it is old so it has a lot of of alcohol smell to it like um that carrier of alcohol so by the time it finally dries down because it's so old you can then finally get the scent notes out of it but it it has like fl more floral is coming through i think years ago it had more coconut and lime to it and that's not even the scent notes the scent notes online were like spun sugar or something it, w it wasn't even coconut lime at all but i was getting coconut lime anyways this one's much more coconutty so these are not not the same they've never come out from my knowledge with any of these uh charosa projects in a permanent ever again except for this number one i would love for them too because i've i've heard from you guys that you guys love these some of these are your favorite but maybe one day maybe one day. Okay. Then lastly, 
we have, I already, I know I already said last but not least, but I have a fra another fragrance. But this is the perfume. It is not a fragrance mist, it is the actual perfume. This is the Charosa 62 in the actual perfume. And they have actually, this is the old one, they have reformulated this one. And so I was able to get this on sale because they were trying to sell off the old version. What have they done to it to reformulate it? I have no idea. I do not know. <laughs> It smells great though. It smells like an amped up version of the 62. It has, um, like I feel like 62 and maybe again, this is because my version is very old, but I feel like this has more of a, an alcohol scent to it. And that again, is probably because it's older. If I got a new, uh, of this one, a new spray, it probably wouldn't have that carrier alcohol scent to it. But I feel like this has less of that and it's just it's stronger. It's a stronger Charosa 62. And so it's great. I love it. I'm glad I have it. Okay. Next part of my collection, we have some of the creams. This is the original boom boom cream. And from my knowledge, they now sell a refill of this. So this one, I think was the last one that I had in this, like I had this one in a box from, I think, probably bought it during a sale or something. So when I finally get through this, I can buy a refill. Yay. And that makes it so it's better for the environment and it's better for your pocketbook. I, cause it's a little bit less money. So yay. This one, all of the creams have like a, I always say like a superpower. They have a little bit of something that makes them special. So let's talk about what this one does. This one is powered with guanana and it is supposed to tighten. So it is a boom boom cream because it's supposed to have that like the tightening power. So it is supposed to kind of lift your booty, your boom boom. And it's, it, I mean, obviously like squats and stuff are gonna really do it a lot, but with this, this is supposed to help with that. It's supposed to help with like a little bit of toning for your boom boom. <laughs> okay, and I know that I'm saying boom boom and it looks like bum bum, but it is pronounced boom boom in Portuguese. So, all right. The next one I have that I already showed you is the Rio Radiance. This one is not sold anymore. I was able to purchase this one one summer that it came out and now it's not available anymore. And I'm like, come on, salty snail. This one is the one that smells. It's, it's now, oh, was it 87? I wrote it down. It's on the, it's on the spray. <laughs> Anyways, this one is so good. Oh, it smells like sunblock. Anyway, so this one's superpower is that it's body glow. So it's glows, but it's also hydrating. So it hydrates with squalene. And so it is, it's a glowy formula and it also has squalene to help with the glow. So it's a double glow. It's got ingredients glow and it also has a little bit of shimmer to it. This is a really nice one. I really like this one. Maybe they'll make it permanent. I mean, 87 is permanent. So let me know. Is is there an 87 body cream? Anyways, I'm just hoping that they come out with a 71 body cream and they have been hinting on Instagram that they're coming out with one because 71 is a lot of people's favorite. It's my favorite and they don't have a body cream for it. So they're hinting that they will have one because of right now they don't have one. Okay. So then we have this Delicia Drench. This one came out this winter I was talking about and I was just saying how it's really, really thick. So that is the superpower for this one. It relieves dry skin, repairs moisture barrier. This one is thick. This one is, I would say like, it's like cream, like almost the formula of like cream cheese. It is very thick. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And so it is really, really good for dry skin which I have. So I really like this one. It is fantastic. It's a really good one. It's just, if you don't have dry skin, this might be too, too thick for you. <laughs> okay. Then we have the number 40. This one is the Bon, bon Dia Bright Cream. And I have tried to look up some of these names. So hopefully I'm pronouncing things kind of correctly hopefully. And so this one is the bright cream. So the superpower of this one is that it's supposed to be brightening. It's infused with renewing fruit AHAs and vitamin C and AHAs are kind of like they're exfoliators. And so it's supposed to help with brightening and vitamin C. So this is a brightening cream, the beige of floor. And so this one, it's superpower is it's an el elastic cream. I, I just think of elastic girl. But anyways, enriched with retinol mimicking 
cacao oil and plant, plant collagen. So this one is best for, I guess, like anti-aging. So because of that retinol and it's, it's good to, and the elastic, so it's good for your skin. And you know, I am not a dermatologist, but <laughs> so I'm just reading this, but you know, they're all really good for your skin. So it's nice that they all have different little properties to help your skin out. Elastic boosting body cream helps, you know what, Bianca, you could have just read this. Okay, here we go. It helps maintain a youthful Brazilian bounce and deeply moisturized skin. So I was right, it's like anti-aging slash usefulness. Okay, then I have some little ones of these. What is wrong with me? That one's a lot lighter than I thought it would be and it just flew up. Okay. So again, these things like come in samples from like Sephora and do I ever turn down samples of Sol de Janeiro? No, I don't. So these are like purse sizes. You can put these in your purse. Since I work from home, I don't leave my home as often. So I have taken these out of my purse and they just stay in my home and I use them at home. And so I have two of the Beja Flor and one of just the regular Boom Boom Cream. So yay, okay. Now, I thought the next thing I should talk about because it goes along for me with the lotions is this Boom Boom Fermeza oil because I use um, oil along with my body lotion or my body cream because I have very, very, very dry skin. And Utah particularly is very dry. And so this really helps with my dry skin. Also, last night, oh, I need to get one more thing. This, this is the tool that you can use with this. So last night I was doing some research because I just ordered this tool. I got it, I had a Rouge Reward from Sephora and so I was able to get this. This is a $20 tool and when I purchased this during the Sephora like VIB sale, this was sold out. And on Sol de Janeiro they have a little bundle where you can get this these two together and it will take some of the price off so if you can get these two together that is the way to do it but I ended up getting them separately and so I just used this one for the first time last night so anyways what I did because it is supposed to be good for um, lymphatic drainage but I have tools for lymphatic drainage on my face. I have never used a lymphatic drainage tool on anywhere else on my body, like my thighs, my stomach, anywhere. And so I was like, I'm gonna need a tutorial. Okay, so I went to Sol de Janeiro's website. There was not a tutorial on this. And I was like, I feel like it, they should have one. But I was reading people's comments and someone said that if you go to Sol de Janeiro's YouTube, they have a tutorial. And I mean, on, when you look at Sol de Janeiro, they do have like a description of how to use this. They say like to start, they, they, it's only on how to do it on the stomach, by the way. They don't say how to do it on the arms or the thighs. So I might have to do some extra researching to figure that out. But it does say on the Sol de Janeiro website, like in words, like in a paragraph, it describes like how to use this. But I'm a visual learner. And so I wanted to find out how to use this while watching someone. I went to Sol de Janeiro's YouTube and there is a professional like lymphatic drainage massage person and she was going over how to use this and it was so helpful. And so I used this tool with the Fermeza oil and I was able to do some lymphatic drainage on my stomach and I thought it was awesome. Um, and it's not supposed to like make you skinnier or anything like that. It's just supposed to drain your lymph nodes and just kind of help with like bloating. So I'm really excited to have that. So yay, really, I'm, you know, I've only used it once so far, but I'm really excited to have it because I love doing the lymphatic drainage on my face. It just feels so nice. So glad to have that. We have these. Can I hold all of them to show you them? All right, boom, these right here. I personally think that Sol de Janeiro was the first one on the scene with these. Am I correct? Probably not. <laughs> but they're the glow oils. So recently, I actually have some more of these kind of glow oils from different brands, like Fenty came out with some, and I, I'm trying to look, like you can get kind of glow oil kind of things from other brands. Sol de Janeiro is not the only one who has these, but where I heard about these kind of glow oils was from Sol de Janeiro. So I personally think that they were the first ones with them. 
Am I right about that? No, I'm not. <laughs> They used to have a ton more colors. And I think that they, what they do is they just come out with a color and like a limited edition color. But right now on their website, I believe they only have these two colors. So, and these two, cause I think they're their most popular two colors anyways. And they have like different sizes. So they have this smaller size and they have this bigger size. So the Coca Cabana bronze is like their number one bestseller. And then they also have this color, which is the Rio sunset. I have Rio sunset and a big, one and then I have these other two colors. I have Samba Sway and I have Carnival Queen. Can you get these anymore? I don't think so. I don't think they have these anymore. They used I used to have a Coco Cabana one that was in the big size, but I used it all up. Anyways, these are amazing. What I do with these, you can just wear these on your skin just alone and just wear these on your skin and, and have glowing skin. But what I like to do is I like to mix this with my Boo Boo Cream because this has the Sol de Janeiro, the, the Charosa 62 scent. And so I mix it with my Boo Boo Cream because that has the 62 scent as well. And then I have, because it's a, an oil, and so it's just extra moisturizing and also extra glowy. And so then I'm moisturized, I'm glowy, and I just feel like I look like a beach goddess. <laughs> So even though I don't live near a beach, I'm landlocked in Utah. I mean, we have the Salt Lake that has a beach, but the Salt Lake is stinky because of the brine shrimp. Anyways, you guys didn't need to know that. I love these. These are just a really nice glow oil that just makes you glow and is really nice. Do other brands have them? Yes, but Sol de Janeiro has some really good ones on the market. I hesitate to show you some of these other things because were they in my first video three years ago? Yes. Are they, do I still have them? Yeah. And are they super expired? Yes. Yes, they are. Sol de Janeiro has come up with new sunblock. They have. Do I own them? No, no, I don't because I have some reasons where I live. Our pool is closed because they're doing some repairs. And so I think I'm going to buy that sunblock next year when we're going to be going to the pool a lot more. I'm trying to convince myself to not be an overspender. Do I still have these old sunscreens? Yes, I do. I don't, maybe it's because it's nostalgia. Maybe I just want to use them up, even though they probably are not effective anymore because they're so old and sunblock does get less effective the longer it is, not, you know, the longer it's out, but Anyways, this was the Sol de Janeiro. It's the Sol Oil and SBF 30. And the new SBF that they have is not in the Boom Boom scent. It's actually in the Rio Radiant scent, which both of them are delicious scents. The Rio Radiant scent has more of a sunscreen scent, so I understand why they did that, but I feel like every sunscreen smells like sunscreen. Sunscreen smelling like Boom Boom was special, so I feel like they should have kept with the boom boom but that's just me this one was so fun because it was an oil it also had glitter in it and it also had this little surfboard there's a little surfboard swimming in there so this one was so good i i'm gonna miss this one they should come out with this one again because it was just so cute and it had that boom boom smell that was so good they need to come back out with this one and then we have this one this is more of a face stick it was sbs 50 and this one I actually put this on my lips yesterday because we um, did go to the, we went to not the pool in our town because that one's closed. We went to a pool in a different town and I put this one like to just moisturize my lips and it was, it was pretty grainy. <laughs> Anyways, oh my gosh, but it has a boom boom smell on it still. Let me tell you, this is years old and it still smells so good, but this one was so nice. It's my soul stick, SPS 50. It's a sunscreen. It says moisturizing sun protection balm for face, lips, and tattoos. And this just was a really good one. Another thing that is expired that should I still have? Whatever, I still have it though. Hand sanitizer. This came out, I think it actually came out right before. Can I say that word? I was gonna say, uh, right before the C word, right before the world went crazy in 2020, okay? So I used to say that word all the time, but that was before I was monetized. So I don't know if they'll let me say that now that I'm monetized. Anyways, so this came out, I believe it was right before all of that happened in 2020. So uh, they were really lucky 
to have this when the world went crazy and we all needed hand sanitizer because I think I had this already in my collection. So that was pretty cool. But do they sell this anymore? No, I don't think they do. Um, and it's probably expired. But I still have it. I remember saying when I did my original video being like, does this smell like, you know, hand sanitizer? Does it smell like alcohol? Yes, it does. Because it's a hand sanitizer. But is there still a scent of the Boom Boom Cream? Yes. So it is nice that it still kind of smells like Boom Boom Cream and hand sanitizer. Yay! <laughs> I'm really sorry that I keep showing you expired things. <laughs> but I have them, so I'm going to show them to you. And I don't, I just, I don't usually get rid of things until I finish them. Anyways, so this is the Samba Foot Fetish Cream. I think I got this from FabFitFun. Like during, because they had um, Sol de Janeiro on their add-ons, but it was always first to go. It was hard to get in their add-ons. That's what I was saying at the very beginning of my video. Anyways, and it also came with this cute surfboard emery board. How cute is that? So even when I get rid of this, I will still have this emery board. Forever. So cute. So it's just, it's a foot cream. And I feel like foot creams, you might, I don't know what you think, but foot creams in general, usually have like a peppermint smell to them, which isn't offensive, but it's like not super pleasing to me, except for during Christmas time when I'm like, mmm, peppermint. But the rest of the year I'm like, eh, peppermint. So this one having that boom boom smell was nice. I was happy to have, I'm, I'm happy to have a foot cream that doesn't smell like peppermint. We are done with expired things. Yay. <laughs> Is everything that I have now, everything that I have tried from the brand? No. It is not because there's like, I don't have right now their shampoo and conditioner because I used it up and I haven't repurchased. I have some shampoo and conditioner in the wings that I need to use up before I repurchase more shampoo and conditioners, but I have used it and I absolutely love their shampoo and conditioner. I think it's great. They have like a conditioner mask that I didn't love. I don't have that in my collection either because I finally did use it up and I didn't like that one. Uh, I just didn't think it really moisturized my hair that much. Maybe I had the wrong hair type for it, but I didn't really like that one. So there's some things that are no longer in my collection that I either love or didn't really love. You can go look at my original video and see, cause there's some things in that video that are not in this video because I have used them up. We have this. It is the Brazilian foreplay. It is the moisturizing shower cream gel. In my original video, they didn't have this at yet. It was, it was a different, they had a shower cream, but it wasn't that it was like a shower, just a shower cream, not a shower cream gel. Anyways, they have reformulated into this kind of like cylinder shape. Whereas before it was in this like kind of like that, like a Hershey kiss kind of shape. Anyways, whatever, it doesn't matter, <laughs> but I had that one too. And this one, as you can see, it's little because I have gotten it as like sample size, I guess. Anyways, I thought I'd talk about it because this is a really good shower gel. When you have all of this stuff together, like if you have the shower gel, you have the shampoo and conditioner, you have, what's next? This, this is another little sample size. This is the leave-in conditioner spray. And you also then have the um, lotion and you have the spray and you will just have this envelopment of Sol de Janeiro, like boom boom cream that you smell like, you will be Chirosa. <laughs> like if you can get all of those things and wear them all at the same time, it will just be this cloud. It might even be too much. Not for me, but for other people. They might walk by and be like, whoa, you, wow. <laughs> but I love that they just have so many little pieces that you can add them all together and just have this envelopment of beautiful smell. So this is an amazing shower gel. This is a really good leave-in conditioner. I uh, I feel like I can't give you a really good opinion on this one because this is all I've used. Is there a little one like this? I have not used the big size, but it smells really nice. So it's nice. Okay, last but not least, the last thing that I have from Sol de Janeiro that I actually have in my collection right now, this, this is the lip balm. They used to have these like kind of like lipsticks that I had and they, they had like tint to them, but those went bad a long time ago, so I did get rid of those. Okay, I this is my second one of these. I used an entire one of these up. And I feel like that says a lot because it is <laughs> it's hard to use up an entire chapstick. Like usually we lose them 
or I lose them before I use them up. And maybe it was because I was on Accutane. Maybe it was because it was an amazing chapstick. I used up an entire chapstick of this. Like I was actually scraping out the bottom so that I could put it on my lips. <laughs> And so I purchased another one because I wanted it. It's such a good chapstick. It has that boom boom, you know, smell. It has so many like nourishing ingredients in it and it smells amazing. And it's just a really good sunscreen. I mean, a really good chapstick and I'm really good, glad to have it. So can you guys tell that I am obsessed with Sol de Janeiro? Yes, you can. I love Sol de Janeiro. Will I be purchasing more from Sol de Janeiro? Yes. Sol de Janeiro is like an auto buy for me. Anytime something from Sol de Janeiro comes out, I buy it because I want to be Chirosa. All right. Well, if you liked this video, like this video, if you want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my Instagram. It is also Bianca Skogan Beauty. And if you want to be notified of my videos, push the bell. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.